In this Python NiceGUI tutorial, we will make an application with a slider element. According to the slider value, the appropriate image is displayed on the screen. When the slider value is 4, the image is deleted and the object is locked. In the video I will show step by step how to do the application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I will create the slider element. I am creating a variable. I send minute and max values to the slider function. I save the code file and run the program. I go to this address using a browser. I added the slider element to the web page. But we cannot see the slider value. We can do this with a simple method. In order to see the slider value, I send the label always value to the props function. I am saving the code file. We can see the value of the slider element. But it doesn't fit exactly on the screen. We will solve this problem shortly. I will create a label object. I am creating a variable. I am sending the text value to the label function. I am saving the code file. Now the value of the slider object is shown more clearly. My goal is to show the value of the slider object in the label. I will call a function every time the slider object changes. I can do this using the onChange feature. The refresh function will be called when the slider object is changed. I define the refresh function. I can change the text value of the label using the setText function. I reach the current value of the slider with the value function. I am saving the code file. The slider value is displayed in the label object. I will add an image to the web application. I am creating a variable. I send the basketball image to the image function. I adjust the size of the image object using the classes function. I am saving the code file. I added the image object to the web page. I will use these images in the application. You can download the images from the GitHub link in the description of the video. I want the appropriate image to be displayed on the screen according to the value of the slider object. I can do this by defining if queries. If the slider value is zero, I will not show the image on the screen. I can do this by sending false to the set visibility function. If the value of the slider object is 1, I set the visibility value of the image object to true. I can use the set source function to set the image object. I'm sending the basketball image to the function. I delete the basketball file in the image function. If the slider value is 2, I send the football image to the function. If the slider value is 3, I send the tennis image to the function. I am saving the code file. According to the slider value, the appropriate image is displayed on the web page. If the slider value is 4, the tennis image continues to be displayed. I will define one more if query. If the slider value is 4, I set the visual set visibility value to false. I also set the set enable value of the slider object to false. In this way, if the slider value is 4, the object will be locked. I am saving the code file. 
the image is displayed on the screen according to the slider value. If the slider value is 4, the image disappears and the slider object is locked. In this video, we learned how the slider object works. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.